I hate making these videos, but this Energy Apex, after testing it for a full week, I cannot recommend it to my viewers. It has too many problems, and I'm sponsored by them. I've been in contact th with them for over a year now. There's lots of other affiliate sponsorships on YouTube, and lots of people are like, oh, it's amazing, it's the best thing in the world. But after testing it, it's not, all right? You have a 1500 watt inverter, and you can only use 550 watts continuous. That's ridiculous. The next problem, the EC8 plugs. They want you to put heat shrink over it, and guess what, it's not a waterproof plug. When you put heat shrink over it, you have to seal the sides, and I can't find a solution. They're not advertising one. I haven't seen anything on their website. That is a bad design. The next problem, if you connect lead acid batteries, it's only gonna charge it to 12.6, and it can over discharge it, and also there's no temperature compensation. You will kill batteries. You can spend $700 on lead acid batteries, connect them to the apex and it will kill them. There is no way that I can recommend this. And I just sent an email out to the main guy that I talked to at Energy, and I was like, this thing has actual problems. You guys need to fix this. And then I asked, when are you gonna fix it? Because people are gonna return this. Oh my God. What is this? I just had the plug come off. I didn't even try, or I mean, why did it fall off? I did not mean to do that. This was while filming, oh my God. All right, so the switch actually falls off. I didn't even plan for this. This is while I was making this video. This switch just freaking fell off, really? Oh my God. This should not happen. This should be durable, okay? Okay, this switch just broke. <laughs> come on. This is just bad, you can't sell it like this. This is not, whoever's designing it, you guys need to fire your engineers. Whatever engineers you currently have are missing a lot of problems, okay? A lot of problems. I was super excited by the specs and the price and stuff, but no way. You guys can't sell something like this. This is not good. So I don't wanna turn this into a rant, but yeah, I just sent them an email saying everything that I just told you guys. I just want you guys to understand what I'm seeing on my end. I would feel like I'm doing a disservice to humanity if I told you guys to buy this thing. And you know what? I hope Energy makes a new one. I pretty sure that they probably made a couple hundred or thousand of these things and I don't know what they're gonna do with them but they're gonna be returned soon because anybody using this for a permanent installation there's no way the main advertisers of the energy apex affiliate commission wise are the prepper channels so people that are prepping for doomsday or disasters they love selling these all right they sell tons of them I'm like one of the lower affiliates those guys sell tons of them and I understand why because no one's testing them in the prep community because they don't need to use them they throw them in their garage and then they let it sit there for a couple of years but people that watch my channel need to depend on this every day and there is no way that they can depend on this the switch just fell off I mean, come on. And if you guys do watch those prep channels and you do buy one and throw it in your garage, you're gonna be in for a horrible surprise when the inverter cannot power your loads. I mean, this should not be rated at 1500 watts and 3000 watt max surge. It should be more like 550 because that's what the discharge rate of the battery is. And technically it does work as advertised, all right? It says 550 watts on there, but when people see the package, and they see 1500 watts and a max surge of 3000, they might be able to power that for like five to 10 seconds, but anything over a minute and this thing's gonna turn itself off. I don't see how that is a reliable power source. Like it's not designed properly to power these loads. So please leave a comment below. Please let me know what you guys think. I'm really bummed by this thing and I feel like I got all excited for nothing, man. This sucks. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, you, if you don't like it, you should return it. You know, you shouldn't be stuck with this. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.